this hit make my people wanna jump, jump. Don't this hit make my people wanna jump, jump. Don't this hit make my people wanna jump, jump. Don't this hit make my people wanna Welcome back to Amazing Words, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since we've been able to talk to you. And a lot has changed in the league. And right now, we gave y'all who the best in the East was. We want to talk about who's the best in the West. We want to start out, Joe. Who you got as the best in the West right now? In the I, think, I think the best team still is the Warriors because of their their offense, defense is just top of the league, both, both categories. But I think the Thunder are a team that's really come up on the rise, especially with what they did in the trade deadline. The additions of Can Cantor, T.J. Augustine, and um, Kyle Singler really helps them build a team from the, from the bench perspective. But um, it's really tough to win three straight away series if, if you have the you don't have the home court advantage. So I don't know if I can put the Thunder to, to be the team to win the West, but they're right behind the Warriors, and they might play in the first round, which would, which would be absolutely nuts. That would definitely be a crazy, crazy first round. And, and, and Mike, are you agreeing with Joe? Are you are you still putting the Warriors, giving them the edge over the Thunder, or are things switching up? Well, when you're a team like the Thunder and you have Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, who one has won an MVP, Russell Westbrook, if he had his own team, could would be in uh, MVP conversation. He's going to be probably up there towards the end of the season because uh, – Kevin Durant is in and out of the lineup, and Russell Westbrook is playing incredible basketball right now. But I'm still going to stick with the Warriors because I think Steph Curry is the MVP right now. Uh, Clay Thompson is probably one of the best two guards in the league. Uh, could You could make the argument it's him, and they get Harden. And then there's a myriad of guys under that. But I think it's the Warriors. Uh, they're playing the best defense in the league right now, and you really can't argue with that. You can't argue with the Warriors. You can't argue with the Thunder. But there's two teams that we didn't mention right now, and that's the Memphis Grizzlies and the San Antonio Spurs. I have to put both those teams in those in that same discussion over the last month. You know, I have four teams coming as the best team in the West. I think they're the four teams that nobody wants to face. That before was the Mavericks, Memphis Grizzlies, Warriors, and Spurs. Now I'll put the Thunder in there. You got two of the top five players in the world on your team. It's just going to be really interesting to see how it falls because in the Western Conference and in the playoffs, it all comes down to matchups. Yeah, and I think, uh, I mean, the, the Thunder right now, the 8th seed, and they're a few games back from the 7th seed, the Spurs, and the Clippers will probably, Spurs, Clippers jockeying for that 6, 7, 8 seed. I think those are the three teams that are going to jockey for those positions because they're the teams that are very uncertain right now. The Spurs are going through, you know, some, some difficulties, uh, you know, back-to-backs. They're not playing that well against the Warriors the last Friday. They, they got whacked by the, by the Warriors. But um, the Clippers, obviously, Blake Griffin's out. So I think those three teams are going to be jockeying for the 6, 7, 8 seed. And the, you know, I know the Warriors have not, don't want anything to do with with the Thunder round one. And I, I know they lost to the Pacers the other day. They don't want anything to do with with, with the Warriors and, or the the Thunder in round one. You look at the Warriors, that team. We don't want to take away from anything they've done thus far, and we don't want to you know put the Thunder on this mountain because there's still a possibility that the Thunder don't work out. You know, Enes Cantor, Kyle Singler, DJ August, well, not DJ Austin, but those other two players are fairly young. They're a young team. They lose veteran leadership in Kendrick Perkins. Shout out to the Cavs. Um, sorry, I wasn't supposed to do that right. But uh, they're just not an extremely experienced team, and I think that's the one thing you can use against the Thunder. I, I think it kind of, I mean, obviously the situations haven't been played yet by Singler and Cantor, but I think I really appreciate what the Thunder did without, besides getting Brooke Lopez, I thought that was a mistake to get Brooke Lopez, a high paid player, get Cantor. He's young, he's 22 years old, he's inexperienced in playoff situation, but like, this is the time to do it. He'll go in there, he can get him big time buckets in, in key situations on the post. Abaka is more of an outside threat now, anyway. Singler is a, a knockdown shooter, 100% knockdown shooter. I think he's been in big situations. He played for the Duke Blue Devils, won a championship, uh, you know, four years, five years ago now. He's been in big time situations, so I mean, it's not the similar, uh, you know, as NBA Finals or NBA Playoffs, but I think Singler and Cancer, especially, could could help them come playoff time. And Mike, do you think we're overlooking the Warriors? Should we give the team with the best record in the league a little bit more respect in this fashion? I don't think anybody's overlooking the Warriors because you know their record speaks for itself, and people are talking about you know trade deadline moves at this point, and the Warriors didn't make any, so they stay in pat, which is probably the best move because they don't, they don't really need to make a move. So I don't think anybody's really overlooking them. There are other teams in the league being overlooked. You said the Spurs are getting over, like they're obviously getting overlooked because they're, they're going to be dangerous in the playoffs because they're the Spurs. The Grizzlies are getting overlooked just because they haven't, they've made moves earlier in the season and they're not like a flashy, like, oh, like so-and-so scored 50 points, scored 30-something in a quarter. So they're getting overlooked, but the Warriors, I wouldn't say, are getting overlooked, but they're still probably my best team in the West. 
and it's up for debate. We want you to join the debate. And we've been gone for a while, but we're back in action. From us here at Amazing Words, we thank you for watching. And our mind was on me. 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 Cause I